in this age we are living in right now comparison is so not far-fetched it's very normal and human if it's something you're experiencing due to the facts we have social media a place where people go to show you their best lives unfortunately this affects a lot of people in horrible ways and it's a very human and normal feeling on this episode i'm going to be sharing with you five simple tips very very easy that i think you should try to imbibe if comparison is something you're dealing with and trying to cope with Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a London-based content creator. I make videos on fashion and lifestyle which includes travel, food, etc. On this episode, as I said in the introduction, I'm going to be telling you ways to cope with comparing yourself to others. It's quite human and normal. This is not something you should be ashamed of, but it's something you should definitely tackle and try to work on just to improve on your growth. I'm going to start with the most important point, which is accept and believe that you are where you are supposed to be at the moment the fact that you are somewhere at the moment doesn't mean that that's where you want to be but you should know that there's a reason for it and make the best use of it you and someone might have started a journey together and the person seems to be progressing her person has, seems to have gotten to let's say the end is 10 the person is on seven already you're still on three you are on three for a reason to be honest i've actually experienced this in my life where i literally cried like felt so regretful for the fact that me and someone did something together and they had gotten it, I hadn't gotten it, I was still where I was. In the end, I realized that come, there were actually more advantages because something happened and they couldn't, they fact, they literally lost what they had but because I was still where I was, the, the, the situation surrounding it was actually more beneficial to people who were where I was at the time. Chica, I'm just trying to give that example, I don't want to go too much into details, but all I want to just tell you is that it's, it's normal to feel down when you don't get where you want to get. It's normal to feel sad when you see people who are progressing and you're still where you are or you're not yet where you want to be. Just accept the fact that you are there for a reason and see the positives you can get from it. The second one is kind of similar to this first one, which is accepting and believing that rejection is protection we all have some form of supreme being you serve or something that is your god it could be god in the christian light god in the muslim like god in the religious god in something else whatever it is that you just think is very important to you just accept the fact that when you are rejected for something you want it is that supreme being who is actually protecting you another way to see it is looking at bad situations as probably something that is stopping something worse from happening to you so once you accept that and believe that irrespective of what's happening around you just know that your own path is your own path every time you feel rejected you feel you've lost something or you feel very unaccomplished in something you have set out to do just know that you're being protected or believe and accept that you're being protected from something you can't see yet third one i would say is to write your goals down long-term goals and short-term goals when we start feeling comparison it's because we are thinking we haven't achieved what we want to achieve and then other people in their own industries or even in your own are getting where they want to get to guys write down your goals pat yourself in the back when you've done one or two things have long-term goals maybe a goal you want to achieve at the end of let's say six months or a year and then have those short ones you also write down to say yes this week I want to do this, today I did this, today I, something as little as I made, I actually had a conversation with this person who's going to progress something or actually started working towards this thing I want to achieve next week, you know, little, little things and once you write these things down, you check back on yourself, come, have I done this, have I done something to get to this, when you realize you've done it, when you realize you've gotten a positive feedback, when you realize you've actually got made headway with something, no matter how small, pat yourself in the back because that's going to help you feel better about yourself instead of looking all around it's easy to look around because you're, tr try you're trying to measure yourself with what other people are doing you're trying to measure progress but people will only show you what they want you to see aside that trust in your journey the journey a lot of times is so much more fulfilling and important than the destination enjoy the process enjoy the journey and trust in the occurrences that happen to you you know just take them in good stride because if you start pushing yourself down the universe is going to be listening to you and you'll just be giving out negative vibes which is not what you should be demanding from the universe from your god from your actions so just make sure you you give yourself some level of accountability and then as you achieve your goals you pat yourself in the back that yes I've done this. This could be simple things like let's say you're, you're trying to save for a trip or you're trying to send maybe a marketing email to someone regarding your brand or your product or your service or even okay let's say you're trying to write a book now. You write one page 
patch yourself in the back and read him one page. What do I want to write at the end of this week? I probably want to write one chapter. One chapter is, let's say, 20 pages. Okay, so in five days, I should have written about, I should write four pages a day. Day one, how many pages did I write? I wrote three pages. Pat yourself in the back. You've actually done something. Feel good. Sleep smiling. You know, go, wake up the next morning. Try and double up on your efforts. But just knowing that, come, I'm actually moving forward. I'm actually break these things down so it actually looks like you're moving forward. Because let's say you say, okay, I want to write two chapters in two weeks. And in three days, you've not even written anything. Do you get so break it down? Okay, every day, what am I going to do? How should I go about this? Some days you actually do way more. Some days you do less. Some days you actually do what you plan. Every time you've set out to do what you plan to do, or every time you've surpassed what you plan to. I like this stem, which is throw your own party, celebrate yourself, celebrate your little, little success. The fourth one is something that I know it still goes with spirit and energy, which is being genuinely happy for other people. Be happy for people genuinely. I know sometimes as humans or as humans who have not trained their minds well, someone could tell you something to be happy. You'll be wondering why is this one is happening to why can't it be happening to me? No. Be genuinely happy for them. Encourage them. You never know. They could even give you tips. Let your heart just be beautiful and full of gratitude for other people's accomplishments because you're going to be drawing good tidings to yourself just by doing that. It's human to feel grudges or envy, you know. Work on it. You're still the owner of your mind. You're still the owner of your body. Feed your soul with happy things. And then when you surround yourself with people who you're genuinely happy for, who know you're genuinely happy for them, they would also impact you with, you know, happiness and wish you well as well. Give you the best tips. I know a lot of people feel like life is just a competition. You ask them a question, they don't want to help you. Well, no, if you genuinely like someone, just be happy for them. Even if you don't care about them, just be happy. Okay, this person has done this. If you don't want to be happy, then be fine, but don't be envious and jealous because you're eating up emotions which could do better things in your life for you. And the last one is um, operating from a place of gratitude. In your life, I know sometimes it looks shitty, but trust me, someone is having it worse than you. So whatever it is that is going, you're going through, or whatever situation you are in, whatever things you have around you to work with, be grateful for them. Always operate from a place of gratitude, thankfulness contentment those are better emotions to fill your soul with which will help you move forward and i don't know grow you know in a very juicy way if i would say basically these are the five tips for anyone who's coping with comparison what makes you compare someone is you're seeing someone's progress and then you're like looking at oh, oh gosh all oh, oh my struggle all oh my struggle you're seeing the person's progress that's what i want to emphasize on have you seen the person's struggle do you know what the person is dealing with even right now do you know what the person did to get where they are right now you don't so you're basically comparing your behind the scenes with the person's highlights and someone might be getting what you think you want but the person is going through cheating or maybe lack of acceptance, you're, you're the only yourself. Like, you're the only one who has the combination of skills, habits, emotions that you have. So you trying to be like someone else, you would never, do you get that? There are people who are better than you in every single thing. Let's say you have like five talents. There are people who are better than you in all that five. But there's nobody that has that five that you have, plus your habits, plus your spirit, plus your energy. There's no one. So you trying to be like someone is basically you being nobody which there's no power in being nobody. So just harness your skills and know that you're the only of you. Be unique, let your uniqueness shine. That's the only way you can be a successful person. With your, forget people's backstories. Yes, they could be motivated, but that's not your story. Create your own story by letting your uniqueness shine. There's nothing new under the sun, yes, but the ways to go about it and then the luck and the blessings and everything that you have is yours only. Instead of trying to be like someone else, be uniquely working to your own destination using your own unique skills that you were blessed with or that you practiced or educated yourself to get. I've done a very great disservice if I don't mention Instagram on this video because to be honest, most of the things that affect us these days is Instagram. If you have an Instagram account, I'm sure you spend at least two hours in a day looking at it, looking at people's positive vibes. Highest, you see some dirty gossip and stuff that you know bad things about, but people would only post where things are popping for them. Some people, when it comes to creativity, like, how this person can do this? Oh my gosh, I can't do it. Let me not go and kill myself. You spend the whole day trying to do something that someone has done. Like, walk at your own pace. Take life easy. You can never really know how someone has gotten to somewhere. 
even if it's your sibling, I say, okay, we're staying together in this house. All fingers are not equal. Everybody's destination is different. So some might be just doing like this, and things are happening. You or you have to do like this. Don't compare yourself to them. What you're going to achieve will be your what you need, what you were made to achieve. Or that will be your your purpose in life. Do you get? So don't compare. No matter how you think you know someone, then again, the people you don't even know. As I said in one of my points. You don't really don't know how they are getting what they are getting. You really don't know the sweat, the struggle that they have gone through. Only measure yourself by your own progress. Be better than you were yesterday. Today, your plan and your main goal should be better than you were the day before. <laughs> Compare yourself with your previous self. If I should say that's a better, more positive way to move forward. If you have any other comments on how to cope with comparison or how to fix our minds against comparison, please drop it in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and click the bell right beside the subscribe button. Also, like this video. If you don't do any other thing, just like the video. Drop a comment because I love to read from you. I'm going to leave the quotes at the end of this video. I hope you like it. I hope you invite by it. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.